Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. A small change has been spotted in Windows 11 version 22H2, which is our feature update we are getting in just a couple of months for Windows 11 this year. And um, as I've posted previously, that's currently in preview in testing in the Windows 11 Insider program. Now, the small change, in fact, two small changes, um, have been spotted regarding the audio quality and um, the Windows 11 startup sound. And that's that little jingle that plays, if you have the setting enabled, uh, the Windows 11 startup sound, that jingle that plays when you start up your Windows 11 operating system. Now, um, these changes have been spotted uh, by Zeno, who tweets these, uh, these leaks and these changes um, on Twitter, basically, before they roll out to the general public. And he spotted this uh, in uh, beta build 22621. Now, if we just head to two images um, that have been posted and tweeted. And um, this is your audio properties. So if you right click on an audio file and you have the option to click on properties, um, at the top here, the, we can see that um, it's a WAV file. So as an example, you get some different audio formats. You can get a WAV, MP3, FLAC, and so on, just to mention three examples. And if you go to details in those properties, yeah, we can see the bitrate, which is your audio quality. And um, before it was 2,304 kilobits per second. And in build 22621, which is in effect uh, the Windows 11 22H2 build, it's been reduced to 1,536 kilobits per second. So um, that's quite a significant reduction. But although it has been reduced, I think that's still a very high audio quality, especially just for a little jingle that plays at startup. And I think you will only really notice the reduction in audio quality from 2304 to 1536. Um, if you are really a audio enthusiast or specialist, and you play that uh, jingle and startup sound at a slightly higher volume, I think then you would uh, really only notice a difference. I think for your average user, um, they will not um, um, notice that audio reduction, um, how it was before from 2,304 kilobits per second to 1,536 kilobits per second. So just wanted to point that out um, if you are interested. And then just to go to the second change regarding the startup sound, and um, this is how it was before and at the bottom in bold 22621. And these are just wave forms of the actual audio, which is we got two uh, for each bold. So that means it's a stereo uh, audio format. And here we can see before the silence, before the audio starts, there you can see there's a gap um, is a lot less than it is in bold 22621. So in bold 22621, we can see that silence before the audio actually starts playing has been elongated. So um, for some reason, um, in version 22H2, Microsoft is um, um, elongating that um, audio silence before the actual jingle starts playing. So um, just wanted to point those out to you as um, just to keep you updated regarding any developments with the next feature update for Windows 11. Um, that audio um, elongation, that silence, uh, before the jingle starts playing and then as mentioned that reduction in audio quality um, of the startup sound now in case you're wondering in, uh, and if you are unaware um, where you can enable or disable uh, the windows 11 startup sound i think the easiest if you are running windows 11 would just be to head to your settings personalization themes and then in your themes uh, yeah you'll see uh, sounds. Just click on that and that'll open up the legacy control panel, um, a little sound menu. And yeah, you'll see um, play Windows startup sound. So if you don't want that to play, just toggle that off. And if you want to hear the sound, just toggle that on. Click apply and OK. And the next time you start up your system, you'll hear the little jingle play. And as you can see, um, I don't have any sounds uh, um, enabled on my Windows 11 operating system as I personally just don't like all the distraction with the little jingles and notifications going off when I'm um, just doing my daily work on my operating system. So uh, if you don't want the Windows default sounds, you can just change that to no sounds, uncheck play Windows startup sound, click apply, 
okay and then you will have no sounds playing on your windows 11 operating system so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one